Hi Laurie here. Season's greetings to everyone. The end of 21. Hope 22 is going to be a lot better. We all would want that. I've been asked to sh share my uh, animation information with people and I freely sh share this uh, for all the right reasons. I've made a little module up to show people how I get the little motors to work. Now these are the layout motors. I do have one in a uh, locomotive that raises the coal load up and down so it's a similar motor but what a lot of you guys out there don't understand the electronics and that sort of thing so I thought I'd simply show um, three components to get a motor to um, to get whatever speed out of it that you want so the following video is going to help well I hope it's going to help people have a great understanding and next year I'll do some more videos uh, showing some of the techniques that I do for the animations and figures, etc. So all the best. Enjoy the video. And thanks for um, the nice comments that I get. Cheers. Hi, it's uh, Laurie here. Uh, I get a lot of uh, requests for people to um, for me to provide information about how I do the animations so I thought I'd start off with the uh, large motors that I use for uh, the layout that's these geared motors here there's a little um, it's either 3, 6 or 12 volt you can buy they're only cheap they're, they're somewhere around about 3 to um, 8 dollars each depending on where you buy them, buy them in bulk from China in packs of, of 10 or whatever so you can look for 3, 6 or 12 volt I've got a 12 volt supply coming in here now, constant 12 volt at uh, 3 amps at the moment onto that I just put a little crank wheel and this is a test jig that I've done so that I can help these you guys out there uh, wanting to know how to do some of this stuff so this will help you understand the electronic part of things now let's turn this on okay I've got a wiper brass wiper that I've uh, super glued and when I super glue I put uh, the soldering iron on top of it to melt that into the plastic crank wheel that I've got there I've got a Pico track spike there as the crank um, crank pin and that and that goes over it's a, uh, a drill that uh, shaft 33 wire gauge drill for a press fit on the shaft I've got a simple uh, on off switch here which is just connected to the black the negative so positive and negative coming in I've got a, uh, a little surface mount lead there that I made you can see that that actually comes on as the wipers there are touching the, uh, the cam the bit of brass shim so I make the circuit with a um, uh, 1k surface mount uh, resistor in there most important thing is about how to get these um, uh, speeds on the out the output speeds I'll call that an output speed on the motor there at the moment I've got a 270 ohm resistor and a 330 ohm resistor in there if you stay with 270 ohm you make a little jig up like this you'll teach yourself you change that resistor value there to make the motor go faster or slower I'll show you a chart this is a chart that I've made putting the desired voltages in DC that I want on that side resistor 1 value here which is in ohms resistor 2 value here which is in ohms so you can see at the moment where I'm up on the, on this model I've got a, a um, a 270 ohm and a 330 ohm so I've got 2.75 volts is coming out of the voltage regulator with a 220, uh, 270 ohm and a 330 ohm R1, R2, resistor 1, resistor 2 and that's what I've got down here resistor 1, R1 is 270 and R2 is 330 ohms and that's what's giving me that speed on the motor for animation so the animations that I'm looking for 
is subtle speeds in figure animation or uh, for pumps or anything else that you want to make move on your layout you can get the desired speed and that's pretty much the simple circuit uh, that I use three components the voltage regulator and resistor 1 and resistor 2 and the, the adjustment the third leg which everyone who doesn't understand uh, electronics and you look at these items with three legs and you say how the hell does that work with uh, positive and negative well this is it there's your positive coming in um, over this side here and your positive coming out and that's going to go to the motor and this one down here the adjust in between those two this is controlling the voltage out and then that goes to your motor as well to the negative of your motor the positive of the motor I've included a voltmeter in this, so if I turn this on and off, there's no voltage. The voltage is going to actually go to the motor. You can trace these wires back and have a look at the, the one I'm showing this in a moment. I turned it on. There we go. I'm getting about two and three quarter, more two and a half volts, more two-ish. So that's not super accurate, but it gives you an idea. Uh, of, of what voltage is going on to that motor there at the moment as it turns. Now, let's come over here and we're going to have a, a good look at this layout so you can follow the wiring. Okay. The power's coming in, it's going through a switch. So that's the negative is going through a switch, coming out here onto a bit of printed circuit board uh, so I can just make that a terminal for things. So I've got a lead coming off there, the negative lead going off to the surface mount lead. This lead here is coming in to uh, uh, what I call the, the, the main negative uh, terminal where we have a resistor number two. And then that's going off to the motor. So that's the motor terminal negative. The motor terminal positive is coming off the voltage out. The voltage out is the center pin of the voltage regulator. That is an LM. 317T very common easily to be picked up the third leg which a lot of people don't understand what um, electronic sort of things are doing the third leg is the adjusting this is where this adjustment between the resistors makes that motor turn slow or fast depending on the resistor values so we connect that with a little white wire off and that sits in between that wire is in between these two resistors see that just sitting in between nothing else is connected to it just the adjustment so what's coming through here is going is being looked after by the voltage regulator so voltage out voltage in here so the voltage is coming in the 12 volt DC is coming directly into this one here on that third the first pin second pin is the voltage out the third pin is the adjustment so you can make this somewhere around about 220 240 or 270 ohms okay somewhere in the 200 range of ohms make r1 the resistor one put that in there next one down here is you need to get um, some resistors of around about uh, the values that i was showing you on the sheet there so you go from somewhere around about uh, 100 and uh, say 100 ohms up to uh, uh, 500 ohms you got a few resistors and that they're only cheap you can play around with this there then with the values in r2 so it, i'll change the value of that uh, so we can see what's going on with uh, the motor speed okay you're watching what we're going to do here we're going to take that resistor out there's this little test thing i've got here so he'll come out come on all up Right, we'll put that one down there, and we'll go and put a 560 in. Now, just doing a test, so we can demonstrate, and that motor is going to turn a lot faster now. So we turn that on. See? You can see how much faster that motor is going. So. Just between a 330 ohm 
and a 560 ohm resistor we're getting a big difference in the speed of the motor we're going faster so if we go less than 330 ohms it's going to go slower but also have a look at the voltage so we'll drop the camera down now we can see the voltage is now up there at around about three and a quarter three and a half volts DC going to the motor so that's a lot more than that was at two and a half so we've virtually gone up one volt to, uh, by changing that R2 resistor to 560 to a 560 ohm resistor we now got a lot faster speed on that motor and that's a good idea of getting your animations to work at the speeds and, and subtle movements that you want. So I hope this is helpful to uh, people who um, want to do the animation part of things here. Um, you put your uh, figures off that, uh, that's a bit too fast for me unless you were wanting a, um, a windmill going around or something like that. But the idea is there and I hope that this is helpful to you. Cheers.